Hey there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. My name's Tim and today we're going to be taking a look at the 6 inch Black Series Imperial Jump Trooper. Okay then guys, so this figure's a 6 inch Black Series figure. I believe he's from the Battlefront 2 game and I also believe that the character also made an appearance in uh, Star Wars Rebels, the animated show. So let's have a quick look at the box. Some nice artwork of the Jump Trooper on the front there. Some people call this the Rocket Trooper. Now he is an exclusive. Um, I'm actually not too sure where he is an exclusive for. It will either be Walmart or Target, I would imagine, or GameStop perhaps. So if you know which one, let me know in the comments below. Here's the back of the box. And as you can see, there is a little write-up about the Imperial Jump Trooper there. And actually, it does actually say they're also known as Rocket Troopers. And there's the side of the box, Jump True. Can't fit it all on there. But I'm really excited to get this figure in my collection. I've had him on pre-order for quite a while. Um, he looks really awesome to me. He looks really good with that yellow pauldron on his on his shoulder there. So uh, yeah, let's get him out of the box and let's check out the figure. Okay then, so here is the Jump Trooper out of the packet. And as you can see, they've done a phenomenal job on this figure. The detailing is really, really nice. So it's always nice to have different kind of troopers. And this is the first time that we've had a Jump Trooper in six inch line. So as we know, he does feature in the Battlefront 2 game, if you've played that on the either the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox. Um, and I do believe that he was in Rebels as well. But as we can see there, let's take a closer look at the helmet. So some really nice detailing on there. We've got the grey going through the top of the helmet with the with a nice yellow stripe. Also we've got the breathing apparatus coming out there. These are like soft plastic and they go off into the rocket pack at the back. And you can see there we've got a bit of detailing there as, as if like the flames have come out, just scorched this bit of the jet pack that he's got there. It's got a nice black holster there, again soft plastic on his belt, which I'm pleased to say the blaster does fit in very nicely. Really nice snug fit. Just clips on or just stops there with that bit sticking out on the gun, so that's really nice. That's not going anywhere, that's a really nice fit. And there's the detailing on the back of the rocket, as I mentioned before. So that's really, really nice. That actually does come out of his back if you did want to take that off. So there you can see it just sits on with a little peg there. Just goes over his back, over his shoulders. But these things do not come out, so I don't really see the point in that, to be honest. I mean, what's the point of taking it off when you can't really take those out? But still... I really do like the yellow pauldron on his shoulder. That's really nice and bright, nice and glossy. And obviously we've got the Empire's insignia on the on the shoulder there. And the matching one on the other shoulder, just being the white armor. Apart from that, he's a pretty much a regular Stormtrooper, as you can see. Now, one thing to mention about this figure being an exclusive, it does actually come for the first time with a stand. Now the stand is very nice, so you can see that it's got Star Wars The Black Series on it. But I'd like to ask anyone else that has this figure how they're getting on with this stand, because I believe you're supposed to put his foot in there like that. And you can really jam it in there. Now, what I'm finding is that the joint in his ankle, so the pivot on his foot, is, a, is quite loose. I'm finding that he tips over when he, because of the weight of the figure, and it sort of spins there like that. So unless I'm getting this stand completely wrong, as I said, these do only come with the exclusive figures at the moment. So we'll have to see what happens with future exclusive figures or if they indeed end up putting these in standard Black Series figures. But as I said before, I can't, I can't really work this out. I'd like to get him into like a nice sort of jumping pose because he's got the double jointed knees there. So he could like be sort of using his rocket pack to sort of fly off into the air but the joints the joints on his knees are a bit wobbly and he's just a bit top heavy so when you have him in there i just cannot get him to see look the foot there it pivots over so you can have him on and then he eventually it turns and the weight the sheer weight of him pulls the uh, joint over there and, and he ends up falling over. So 
If I'm getting that completely wrong with the stand and I'm being a complete numpty and that is not how you're supposed to use the stand, then let me know in the comments below. Uh, but that's the only thought I can see with this figure actually. It's a, apart from that, it's a lovely looking figure. It'll look great on display with all my other troopers. So yeah, just a nice addition to the collection. Let's have a quick look at the accessory, which is the blaster. So it's a lovely looking blaster. Obviously it's a, you know, a bit of black plastic, but they've used a sort of silver chrome uh, wash to, to go over it to look at, to give it that sort of metal weathered look. Really nice blaster. And it fits in his hand perfect. And he's obviously got the trigger finger as well, which, which looks nice. In terms of articulation, he's got everything that you'd need from a Black Series figure. So he's got the head on a ball. It's also got the got the neck joint as well. Shoulders are on a ball, but you've got to be careful with these uh, with the armor. It does restrict you somewhat, so you can only go as far as that. He has double jointed elbows. He has a split at the top of the top of the arm, which is great because with when you've got a double jointed elbow, sometimes they don't spin, which these don't because obviously the joints. So you've got that extra spin at the top there, which is which is really nice to get his arms into position. His wrist spin, they've got a hinge. We've got lots of movement on the upper torso. Lots of movement there. No waist spin, just the upper torso. Now again, the legs, we have thigh breaks, which is nice, you can turn those. We have double jointed knees. We have articulation on the ankles. We've got a joint there and we've got the rocker. But of course, with the armor, this does restrict actually moving the legs. See if you, you can see there, you're trying to move the leg up and it's getting hit on that piece of armor there. So they can go about that far out. So not a great deal of movement on the legs, unfortunately. They can't move because they are restricted from, from that armor. Just let you have another closer look at the helmet there. So it is really nice and shiny and bright. And yeah, another great trooper to add to the collection. Okay then guys, that is the Imperial Jump Trooper. He is part of the Battlefront 2 game and has also made appearance in Rebels as mentioned before. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and we shall see you on the next one.